Ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, be prepared for something really special this evening. Let's give a warm welcome to our very own John Shackleton. I think my job is to help you make a decision. You see, we all have dreams and goals and ambitions, don't we? Everybody does. I don't know. You might want to lose some weight. You might want to get fit. You might want to make some money. You might want to become famous. I don't know what it is you want. My job is not to motivate you at all. My job is to help you make the decision. You see, because you're not where you want to be, not because you don't know how to get there, and not because you haven't got the time. Those are all excuses, aren't they? You're not where you want to be, and I'm not where I want to be, because we haven't made the decision. Once you make a decision, life changes. At some point in your life, you got sick and tired of being sick and tired and just decided, that's it, I'm changing. I'm no longer going to be that person, I'm going to be that person. Is that right? That's what happens when you make decisions. When you make a real decision, this is actually about stepping up, stepping over the line and changing. I don't even no need to know what decision you need to make. My job is to help you make it. To help you become a superhero. To help you achieve the level to which you know you're capable of. Which all comes out of a decision. My background is sports psychology. So I've always been helping people to change the way they think. I have learnt how to read people's thoughts. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to read this man's thoughts here. So we'll just grab this thought here. Look at it. It's not bad. I'll throw that up there, see what we've got. Oh no, please don't pick on me. <laughs> I'm going to pick on Michelle's thoughts and chuck that up there. She's thinking about chocolate. No, that's true. <laughs> Horrible thought. That one looks a bit scruffy to me. Let's find out what happens when we do that. Yes, he's still thinking. <laughs> he's still thinking about Catwoman. Obviously, I can't read people's thoughts. Nobody can. But you know what I've discovered? I've discovered that the vast majority of the human race are spending most of their time trying to read what other people are thinking. Major concern for a lot of people. I think it's a much smarter process to have this as your thought. How can I control what I'm thinking? Because that controls what you do, which controls what you get. Imagine if you're in the Olympic final. You're standing on the start line of the Olympic final. You look across at somebody else and you think, oh my God, he looks fast. <laughs> you've lost. If you're a sprinter, you've only got nine seconds to fix it anyway. You've already lost before the gun's gone. So the athletes have always learned how to control their thought processes so that they don't allow those stray negative thoughts to come in. I think a lot of people have a very weird view of success. Not only that, very few of them have worked out exactly what success means to them. I speak to a lot of people and they tell me all sorts of junk about what causes success. It's your qualifications, or it's your background, or your parents. Richard Branson left school at 15 with no qualifications. He's done quite well, hasn't he? Then we get a bit more sophisticated and we start su suggesting that some other things have bearing on success. We say, well, it's about luck, or you've got to be in the right place at the right time. You've got to know the secret. And my favourite one, you've got to be naturally talented. People say to me, I'm a naturally talented swimmer. Well, let me tell you something. When I popped out the womb, I couldn't swim 100 metres butterfly. <laughs> You ask any superhero and he'll tell you where success comes from. Only four things. Here they are. You need some skill, you need to be motivated, you need goals and you need self-belief. Many years ago I heard this comment here that success happens when we do enough of the right things. Would that be true? Whatever business you're in, would that be true for you? When you do enough of the right things you become successful. Would that be right? So there's only two questions you need to ask yourself. Am I doing the right things? And am I doing enough of them?